Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3 back with another video. Topic of today's video is LaShawn McCoy back. Is LaShawn McCoy going to be the shady of old? I think he's going to have another great year, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second, so stay tuned. Before we get into today's video, have you become a sponsored member of the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel? All you have to do is click the link in the description. You get all cool perks. You get your comments read first. You get notified when the videos are going live, when there's a pre-recorded video coming up. Also a chance to win two tickets to the home opener against the Cincinnati Bengals. You get to sit with the Buffalo Fanatics. That's pretty sweet. Now let's get into today's topic. Hot topic, LaShawn McCoy. Is he going to revert back to his shady ways? I think he's going to, and I'm going to tell you why. The Bills did everything they could to improve on the poor offensive line that they had last year. Revolving door at the guard positions, revolving door at the tackle positions, revolving door at the center position. So what did Brandon Bean do? He said, I'm not playing games. I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to get as much competition for that offensive line as possible. They did things like bring in Mitch Morse. Probably one of the best centers in the NFL. Highest paid center right now in the NFL. They drafted Cody Ford, a guy who was a mauler. At, he's going to play right tackle. They brought in Ty Insecki, a big boy. We're going to see the return, hopefully, of Deion Dawkins. They got Wyatt Teller. Um, they brought in Quentin Spain. All these guys are put in there with other guys added as competition so that that offensive line can not just help Josh Allen in the passing game, but hopefully open some running lanes and get all these backs that we have on the roster going this season. We need to extend drives. We need to make sure that we get these guys in space because I believe that Shady is still going to be explosive. I believe that all the preparations he's been doing in the offseason are going to pay off. I believe that Shady is going to be put in plays on the edge. He's going to be put in space one-on-one -on -one with linebackers, and that's, I got Shady on that all day long. So I'm interested to see what you guys think. Drop your comments below. I think that Shady's going to have a breakout season. Also, don't underestimate the short passing game with LaShawn McCoy. Extremely, extremely versatile in the passing game. Highly underrated. So, I think going forward, all these running lanes are going to be open because we're going to have these guys that are going to be mauling people on the defensive line. They're going to. This offensive line is built to just maul people. Yes, it's going to help Josh Allen. Yes, it's going to help in the passing game. But you need to sustain drives in the NFL. You need to keep the New England Patriots off the field. You need to keep these high-powered offenses off the field. And how do you do that? You do that with a ground and pound, open up the passing lanes, and just have at it. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Become a sponsored member, get all the cool perks, hit that notification bell, like this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, I am the Facebook operator, I am DM3. Share this video, spread the word, like the video, drop some comments, I reply to all of them. So let's look forward to Shady cracking open that vault and making it rain. I'm DM3 and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.